Today, I reunited NBA trios, but there's a twist. Everyone is in their prime. For the Philadelphia 76ers, Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, and Ben Simmons are back together. That's right, Ben Simmons back in his favorite city of Philadelphia. But this is an interesting what if. I mean, Jimmy Butler not leaving Philadelphia, could they have won an NBA championship? It's crazy to think that if that Kawhi shot didn't bounce in, Jimmy could still be a sixer. In Milwaukee, Drew Holiday, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Chris Middleton are back together. I mean, they haven't been apart for long, but welcome back to Milwaukee, Drew. Also, we've got the trio of CJ, Nurkic, and Dame. I know it might be kind of crazy to say that Nurkic is a part of a trio, but that Blazers team made some solid playoff runs. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, and Rudy Gobert are back together. I don't know how much Donovan and Rudy really like each other anymore, but they were a solid team. Mike Conley being the floor general, Rudy Gobert being the defensive stopper and lob threat, and Donovan Mitchell being the scoring machine. In Boston, we put a free agent back in his prime. Kemba Walker is here running the point guard position, playing alongside Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Kemba was great in Boston before the injuries hit. In LA, Toronto's big three is reunited. Kawhi, Kyle Lowry, and Pascal Siakam. Kawhi Leonard is the only player to win a championship and finals MVP with the team and then leave them that same offseason. But I felt like I had to include this trio because they did win a championship together. In LA, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love are reunited. That's right. Anthony Davis is going to be here running the five. K Love's going to stretch the floor. Kyrie's going to be making plays for his team. And LeBron's just going to be doing it all. What a team. They're going to be a force in this video. Dallas finally getting some love in one of my videos. We're reuniting Luka, Jalen Brunson, and Kristaps Porzingis. Now, Brunson didn't really hit his peak with the Dallas Mavericks, neither did KP, to be honest, but they're all back together, and we'll see if they can make any noise. In Phoenix, the trio that I'm most excited about, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden are back together. That's right, and I think we're going to have James Harden run the two guard. Devin Booker, you can go ahead and slide over to the three, and Bradley Beal, you can take a seat on the bench. And I guess KD is going to have to take one for the team. We're going to slide him over to the power forward. He goes down to a 94, but I think the team will benefit from having Russ, Harden, Book, and Durant all in the starting lineup. We've kind of got two trios here on the same team in Golden State with Steph, Clay, and Draymond all still together. But we've also got Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. That's right, Lob City is back. For this video. Without any more talking, let's get into the simulation. LeBron taking home the MVP. Not a big surprise. I mean, he's a 99 overall. Victor Wembanyama, Rookie of the Year. Darius Garland, Sixth Man of the Year. He's coming off the bench because Mike Conley's starting in Cleveland. Braun also takes home DPOY and THT Most Improved. Trey Young, Clutch Player of the Year. Darvin Ham, Coach of the Year, as the Lakers go 71 and 11. Man, LA might be tough to stop in this video. Kind of crazy to see Cat on the first team considering the players that are in this video, but regardless, we'll go ahead and continue on. I want to check out the standings this season, see who was doing well, and see who wasn't. So obviously the Lakers, they were the best team. They won 71 basketball games. But the Warriors, they weren't too far behind with 67 wins on the season. And I mean, it makes sense why. You kind of get two big threes here in Golden State with Steph, Clay, and Draymond. And then also Paul, DeAndre, and Blake Griffin. I mean, the Warriors have Blake Griffin coming off of their bench. That is ridiculous. Chris Paul has so many options to pass to. Makes sense why this team was so good. The Phoenix Suns come in third. They end up winning only 56 games on the season, kind of because the 2K Sim just doesn't really like Phoenix. Russell Westbrook almost averaged a triple-double on the season. James Harden doing some great stuff as well, stuff in the stat sheet for the Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker, he had a great season. I mean, talk about scoring talent on this basketball team. This team was getting nearly 100 points per game from just four guys. That is ridiculous to say. The Memphis Grizzlies had prime Derrick Rose, ended up finishing in fourth in the Western Conference. The Pelicans, they picked up John Wall out of free agency. 
there were some players sitting in free agency who were in their prime. John Wall was one of those guys and the Pelicans took advantage. The Clippers only end up as the sixth seed. Kind of surprising. I mean, you have Lowry, still have PG, you got Kawhi and you have Siakam. I thought they'd do a bit better. Sacramento came in seventh. They picked up prime Serge Ibaka out of free agency. Portland, they ended up coming in eighth. They're just the Portland Trailblazers plus a prime Andre Iguodala. The Denver Nuggets, they kind of struggled as a result of this video. OKC finishes in 10th with the prime Oladipo. And the Mavs, I tried to show y'all love in this one, man. And they did not make it into the NBA playoffs. Also, Utah missed out. T-Wolves missed out. San Antonio missed out. And so did Houston. Dylan the Villain Brooks couldn't make it into the playoffs this year. In the Eastern Conference, Philadelphia was number one with 66 wins. Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, and Joel Embiid. Somebody in the comments told me recently that the Sixers were good in the Sim this year, and I see it now because I don't think this team had any business winning as many games as they did in this type of league. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating. They're a good team, but they got a little bit of love from 2K in my opinion. Bucks come in second in the Eastern Conference. Makes sense why. Again, I mean, you have Dame, Drew Holiday, Giannis. Jay Crowder starting at the four is crazy. Let, let me change that up. We do not need Jay Crowder starting at power forward when you can just slide Giannis to the four and play Chris Middleton at the three. Sorry I didn't pick up on that in the regular season, but that'll help them in the NBA playoffs for sure. Atlanta comes in third because 2K loves the Hawks. Chicago ends up coming in fourth. I mean, they got Vucevic and Drummond in their primes, and that helped them a bit the Cavs come in fifth with Mike Conley Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert all back together Boston only in six despite having Kemba Charlotte they're in the play-in tournament this season you got the Knicks at eighth Pacers at 9th, Pistons at 10th, Raptors, Magic, Nets, Wizards, and Miami Heat do not make it into the NBA playoffs I'm gonna go through this first round pretty quickly but I will slow it down if we get any game sevens Lakers and Pelicans going to make easy work of their opponents in the West. Same thing for Phoenix. Out East, you got the Philadelphia 76ers sweeping the Pistons and the Milwaukee Bucks gentlemen sweep the New York Knicks. But we could have a few potential game sevens here. It looks like Atlanta and Boston are going to seven. So we'll have to see if Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, and Jason Tatum can finish the job. Boston going to win this one in pretty convincing fashion. A 20-point win. Jason Tatum with 39. Jalen Brown with 30. Kemba Walker with 16. And they'll move on. Our second round matchups are now set. We got the Lakers taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. Kyrie, Bron, K-Love. They won over 70 games on the season. And so far, they've had an easy time in the playoffs. This Warriors and Phoenix matchup is star-studded. I mean, you've got Bull Bull versus DeAndre Jordan, KD versus Draymond, D-Book versus Clay, Harden versus Curry, and Russ versus Chris Paul. This is said to be a fun one for sure. We've got Philadelphia taking on the Chicago Bulls. Don't really know how the Bulls are here, but they're doing it. They low-key got a pretty well-rounded lineup. And the Philadelphia 76ers with Ben, Jimmy, and Embiid. And they've also got guys like Maxi and Tobias Harris. We've also got the Bucks taking on the Boston Celtics. The Bucks with a stacked roster, some great defensive players like Drew Holiday, Cash Money Chris, Giannis, and Brooke Lopez. And of course, the Boston Celtics. They're stacked up on talent as well. Golden State is going to sweep the old OKC Big 3 of Harden, Russ, and KD. And it looks like the Lakers are going to easily beat the Pelicans as well. A gentleman sweep there. Then out east, the Philadelphia 76ers, they're up 3-2 on Chicago. Same goes for the Bucks. They're up 3-2 on Boston. Boston and Milwaukee are headed to a Game 7 here. This is a pretty exciting one. Lots of stars in this matchup. Boston wins their second Game 7. They've only been through two rounds of the playoffs, but it's been tough for them. But ultimately, they've came through in these big games. Jalen Brown with 33 points. All that while not being able to dribble with his left hand. That's crazy. Philadelphia and Chicago are also going to a Game 7 in the East. Did not expect Chicago to be doing so well in this video. Unfortunately for the Bulls though, their run is going to come to an end here. The Philadelphia 76ers get a win behind 27 points from Kelly Oubre Jr. That's crazy. And the Bulls, they just aren't able to continue what has been a great run for them. In the East, we've got Philadelphia versus Boston. And out West, we've got a very fun one. LA versus Golden State. 
Kyrie versus Curry. Braun versus the Warriors. I mean, Braun has had his moments against Golden State. This should be a very fun one. Game number one in the West is going to go to LA, and in the East, it's going to go to Philadelphia. Lakers going to take an early 2-0 lead, while out East, the Sixers and Bucks are tied up at one apiece. Warriors going to fight back in Game 3 and make the series 2-1. Philadelphia is going to win Game 3 in the East, and they will take a 2-1 series lead. Both LA and Philly are up 3-1 after Game 4, and in Game number 5, the Lakers will finish the job against Golden State, and the Sixers will do the same against Milwaukee. So now, we have a Philly versus LA Finals. Ben Simmons, Jimmy Butler, and Joel Embiid taking on Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Anthony Davis. Two juggernaut teams, but I think one looks better on paper, and that's the Lakers. But we'll have to see how this finals matchup goes. Okay, I must have underestimated Philadelphia, because we've got a one-point game here with less than three minutes to go. Ball's going to go into Anthony Davis, AD over to Wood. Austin Reeves going to pass it down to Anthony Davis. Davis, defended by the smaller Jimmy Butler, has an opportunity to attack the paint, and he's going to do exactly that. That's an easy two for a skilled big in Anthony Davis. LeBron James just subbed in for the Lakers, but I don't see Kyrie Irving for LA. So is he fouled out in this one? Yes, he is. The Lakers are going to have to finish the job without Kyrie, but of course they have other stars like Anthony Davis, Kevin Love, and LeBron James. So they should be fine. As for the Philadelphia 76ers, nobody is fouled out in this one. So there's just a quick check on that. Ben Simmons over to Embiid. Tobias Harris gets the ball. Harris defended by Braun is going to swing it to P.J. Tucker. It gets up to Ben Simmons at the top of the key. He's defended by the smaller D'Lo. Simmons going to get the screen from Embiid and he's going to pass it to Joel. Joel misses the layup and the Lakers are moving in transition now. D'Angelo Russell becoming the floor general for L.A. because Kyrie Irving is fouled out of this one. Anthony Davis going to pop a three. A.D. Oh my goodness. Off of the Kevin Love assist is going to knock down a three-pointer. Anthony Davis with five unanswered points since we've hopped into this. Ben Simmons looking to attack the paint. He's going to pass it to Embiid who is out of bounds. So not a great sequence for Philadelphia since we've hopped into this one. Lakers going to give the ball to Austin Reeves. Reeves going to pass it to D'Lo. D'Lo posting up the much bigger Ben Simmons. I don't know what he's trying to do here. He gives the ball to LeBron. LeBron over to Kevin Love. And Love misses the three. Tobias Harris has it now. Harris over to Embiid. Embiid the ball fake. Going to give it to Tyrese Maxey. Maxey gets the screen from Embiid and passes it down to Simmons who's going to post fade. And he misses the jumper. A rare Ben Simmons jumper. D'Angelo Russell has it. Russell going to give it to LeBron James. Braun attacking Tobias Harris is going to pick up his dribble. Give it to D'Lo. Over to an open Austin Reeves. And Reeves is going to miss the three-point jumper. Tobias Harris grabs the rebound, passes it to Tyrese Maxey. Maxey over to Tucker, over to Embiid, over to Simmons. Simmons has the ball up top. He's going to pass it back to Joel. Tobias Harris has the mismatch, but the, he's going to get doubled. And Joel Embiid gets open for three. Embiid knocking down a big three. Sixers within three points here, less than a minute to go. LeBron James has it. Attacking Tobias Harris. Braun trying to work his way into the paint here. He's going to use his size to get to the free throw line. Lakers have a chance to take a five-point lead here. LeBron James steps up to the line. First one is good. It's going to be tough here for Philadelphia, but they've got three timeouts left. Braun knocks down both shots. Philly going to take a timeout. P.J. Tucker inbounding the ball. He's going to give it into Joel Embiid. Embiid over to Harris. Simmons is going to get it. Ben Simmons in clutch time is defended by D'Angelo Russell here. He's going to get the screen for P.J. Tucker. Simmons down to Tucker, and Tucker is going to get to the free throw line. P.J. Tucker stepping up to the line for two big free throws. First one is off. Man, it might be over for the Philadelphia 76ers after that miss. Second one for Tucker is good. Sixers within four, but they're going to need a missed free throw from L.A. D'Lo steps up to the line. First one is good. If D'Angelo knocks the second one down, I'm ready to call the game over with. And he's going to. So L.A. going to get out of here with game number one. But it was a nail-biter for sure. And a really fun one to watch. Just lots of stars. 
going at it in this one and Kyrie Irving was fouled out. So imagine once Kyrie's playing, oh man, this series is about to get crazy. Let's simcast game number two. Looks like we've got a fun back and forth going here between the Lakers and Philadelphia 76ers. P.J. Tucker going to pass it into Jimmy Butler. Butler going to get the screen from Melton and pass it down to Joel Embiid. Embiid is tired. He's going to put up a post hook from deep. Oh my goodness. Joel Embiid in his bag in the post. LeBron James looking for an answer here. LeBron's going to pick up the charge. I did not expect that to be called a charge there, but it is. And now the Philadelphia 76ers get the ball back. They've got a bit of momentum after a defensive stop and a Joel Embiid post hook. Ben Simmons, we've just seen him passing a lot in this so far. He's going to give it down to Embiid. Embiid, a nice fake, but he's going to smoke the layup. And then Joel Embiid going to poster Anthony Davis after the rebound. What a play for Embiid. LeBron James, defended by Tobias Harris, going to pull the mid-range jumper and it's off. Joel Embiid snags the rebound. Embiid has been great in the clutch thus far for the Sixers. Ball is going to go to Tobias Harris. Harris guarded tightly by LeBron James. He's fumbling the ball. He's going to pass it to Maxi. Maxi, the floater in traffic, is up and it's off. LeBron James snags the rebound and he's tired as well. This has been an all-out battle. LeBron going to pull the three and it's good. It doesn't matter if he's tired. He's LeBron James. He's going to knock down the shot and the Lakers back up by one point here. Ben Simmons bringing up the ball. Would love to see him get aggressive here, but he's going to pass it, and it was a rough pass. It's intercepted by Austin Reeves. Reeves up to D'Angelo Russell. Russell, defended by the larger Simmons, is going to pass it over to LeBron. LeBron in the post. He's going to put it up over Harris and miss it. Tobias Harris snags the rebound, and Tyrese Maxey has room in transition, and he passes out of what seemed to be an open layup. P.J. Tucker fumbles the ball, gets it back, and now the ball goes to Ben Simmons. Sixers going to slow it down a bit here. Simmons down to Joel Embiid. Embiid in the post, and he gets a three-second violation. That is rough if you're Philadelphia. Lakers have a chance to make it a three or four point lead here with a bucket. LeBron James working on Tobias Harris here in the clutch. Bron, couple fakes, gonna give it to D'Angelo Russell. D'Lo gonna get the screen from James and pull the three, and D'Angelo Russell is gonna miss it. P.J. Tucker grabs the rebound. Tyrese Maxey has it. Now it's given up to Harris. Harris over to Maxey. Maxey guarded by James. He's gonna pass it out to Tucker who's open, and P.J. Tucker, the huge three there for the Philadelphia 76ers. What a shot for Tucker. Philly is up by two. Coming out of the timeout here, LA needs a bucket. Kevin Love inbounding the ball. It's going to go to LeBron James. LeBron in the post working on Tobias Harris. He's going to pass it out to Love. Love fakes and gives it back to Bron. Bron back in the post once again. He's backing down Harris. Is going to give it to Davis. Over to an open Kevin Love. And Love knocks down the shot. P.J. Tucker and Kevin Love going at each other. Trading threes in this one. And the Lakers are up by a point. Philly calls to their last time out of the game. Maybe they'll hold for the last shot. Go for a game. Philadelphia 76ers up by one point here. They're going to give it into Ben Simmons. Simmons working on D'Angelo Russell. He's going to slow it down a bit. Time is winding down. Less than five seconds to go, and Simmons still has the ball on the three-point line, and it's rejected by Anthony Davis. Wow. Simmons passed it down to Embiid at the last second, and Anthony Davis is going to deny Joel Embiid. Wow. What a block. Oh, can I go to the replay here? What a block from Anthony Davis. Wow. He sent that shot from Joel Embiid back. Look at that. Look at how high up in the air the shot was. AD said no. Lakers going to take a commanding 2-0 to zero lead here in the series. I just now realized Kyrie fouled out again, bro. He fouled out in 15 minutes in this one. Someone needs to tell him to stop fouling. But checking out the stats for LA, LeBron 28 points, AD with 23, K Love with 22 and 12. And then looking at the Philadelphia 76ers, yeah, that's playoff Jimmy, 34 points in this one, but it's not going to be enough. And the Lakers will take a 2 to 0 series lead. Philadelphia cannot afford to lose game three. Well, Philadelphia lost game three. The Lakers are going to take a 3-0 lead. Ben Simmons, 34 points in this one, but it's not going to be enough. Kevin Love with 29, Kyrie 23 and 15, Braun with 21, and LA can close it out here in game four, and they're going to do exactly that. 
Although this series was a sweep, it was a close sweep, if you know what I'm saying. This video was a ton of fun to make for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.